I'm going to show you how to stop doom scrolling using a dopamine detox notion setup. Now there's two parts to a successful dopamine detox. The first is the detox part, but we also need to replace our habits. So part one of this notion tutorial is the dopamine detox checklist. And part two is the healthy habit button. And part two is really the secret to a successful dopamine detox. So part one is the checklist. So what we're going to do is forward slash calendar, and we're going to click on calendar view. And here we will click on new database. And it's going to be quite simple. We are going to add all of our bad habits and we can add them into any single one of these dates. So we'll just click on plus here. And here we can say detox or whatever we want to call it. Now, what we're going to do is click on add property. And here in add property, we're going to add a checkbox. We're going to make this very simple for us. And here we're going to type our bad habit number one. So let's say no TikTok, for example. Then we're going to click on add property and add the next thing. So no Insta, for example. Add property, no online shopping, no TV, etc. You can add all of the different things that you want in here. Now this tags property, I am going to delete this property. If you're watching this video, you already know what a dopamine detox is. So just add the things that are relevant to you. If you don't watch TV, then don't bother writing no TV just so you can check it off and feel good. Just add the things that are actually affecting you in a problem. If you don't have Facebook, don't write no Facebook, you know, make this actually useful to you. Now when we click away here, we can see that we can't see those checkboxes. So what we're going to do is click on these three dots here. We're going to click on properties. And now we can say that we want to see all of these different checkboxes by clicking on this little eyeball icon. So now they are all showing up. And as you can see, this is quite squished. So I'm going to click on the three dots and click on full width. So now we have the detox here, no Insta, no online shopping, no TV, no TikTok. And I can tick them in like this. Now, what a lot of people do is add a summary showing all of the different scores and stuff. I've done this in the past and honestly it makes it worse because if you miss one day you're going to have a drastic decrease in your overall score and it's going to make you feel worse so i don't recommend doing this now how do we add it to the different days well what we could do here is add a template and this template would then be generated every single day automatically so if i call it detox and we have detox in here what i could do is click on this and say repeat and then i could say make this appear every single day but what would happen there is we won't see it until the next day and it appears that day or what we can do is simply hold down the options key on the keyboard and drag now as you can see it drags in all of these being ticked in so just make sure you untick them and then hold down options and you can simply drag it like this. So now every day we can just check in that we are doing all of this stuff. I'll call this calendar detox. By the way, a little tip for you. If you click on these three dots, you can click on view database and now you can actually see the entire year just by scrolling down, which is pretty cool if you didn't know that. Now the second part, and I would argue the more important part to make this actually work, is to have the healthy habits button. So for this to work, we're going to integrate this into your daily calendar. Now, if you don't have a calendar in Notion, I definitely recommend it, but I'm going to create a new calendar here. Click on new calendar, and I'll just call this my tasks. So if you haven't seen my videos before, I believe that your task list should be a calendar. I have a million videos going through that. So basically in here, this is our task list. So here we might have write report, for example, and we could add the property, of course, of if it's complete or not. So done, there we go. And I can go up here, change the property to make sure that we are seeing it. So here we have write report and we can tick it in as done. Now the healthy habit button we will implement for this task list and it will be the things that are replacing TikTok TV, online shopping and Insta. So what we're going to do here is add a new property and let's say some activities that we want to replace these dopamine activities with is go for a walk. Another thing could be read 30 minutes and let's say a hike. So these three activities here, go for a walk, read 30 minutes and hike, I want to do them every single week. And let's say I actually wanna go for two long walks a week and I want to read, let's say three times per week for 30 minutes and I wanna have the hike. So what we're going to do now to ensure that we do this every single week is add the healthy habits button. Sorry to interrupt. If you like using Notion to be more productive, you're going to love my course. Depending on when you're watching this, it's either in the waitlist phase or it has gone live. It is all about how you can use Notion to be more productive. The link is in the description. So we'll create some space up here and do forward slash button. Now, if you haven't used a button before, 
It's pretty cool and it can do a ton of stuff, but let's call this the healthy habits button. And of course we can add an icon. Let's just do a smile. Now what we want is when this button is clicked, so when I click here, then we can say what action do we want to happen? And we want to insert blocks. And now what we can actually do is drag these into this space here. So I'll just drag these like this. And now all of these will be created. So now when button is clicked, insert these blocks below the button. That's what we want to happen and we click on done. So let's say today is the day where I plan out my next week. And as you can see, I have a pretty open week here. And I say, okay, I want to ensure that I'm not doing all of these terrible habits. What am I going to do? Well, I want to fill my time up with the healthy habits. So now all I will do is click on this healthy habits button. And as you can see, these tasks now got automatically created. So now when I'm scrolling down here, I can say, okay, when am I going to do this? Luckily, my week is quite open. So I'll say, you know what? I'll go for a walk on Monday. I'll just drag that in. You know what? I'll read on Tuesday. I'll go for that hike maybe on Saturday. Let's say I'll read for 30 minutes on Thursday. I'll read for 30 minutes on Friday and I'll go for a long walk on Wednesday. So now I've planned out my week with these healthy habits. Now, obviously it's better if we have in all of our other tasks in here as well. As I've talked about multiple times on this channel, you want all of your different areas of life on one calendar. You don't wanna to have to check your Outlook calendar for all your work tasks. Then you have to check your Google calendar for all of your university tasks. Then check your Apple calendar for all of your personal stuff. It's too much have everything in the one place here, including all of these healthy habits that you're going to be doing in order to actually help you achieve this dopamine detox. If you want a Notion template that can help you with your work life, your personal life, your side hustles, your fitness, then I recommend checking out my Notion template headquarters. It has over 1,400 plus users and a five-star rating. Click on this video here to check it out.